All right, man, we back. We're going to do these late uh, videos. Man, we did two earlier. I um, can't remember the two we did earlier. We did the Piston video. We also did the Brocker video saying guaranteeing the win over the Rams. And he wanted to sack Matthew Stafford. So, um, trying to remember this. Oh, Andy Dalton. Okay, Matt Nagy says it's under no circumstances is Justin Fields going to start off with Andy Dalton. All right, at least for week one. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Share the video, man. Even though a lot of people had a lot of um, great praises for uh, Justin Fields, says two hours ago, one minute ago, Bears Matt Nagy already rules out just starting Justin Fields in Week One. No scenario where Andy Dalton is to back up. And y'all, for y'all, forget they got Nick Foles too, man. <laughs> um, so it says Chicago Bills traded up to number eleven pick in the twenty twenty one NFL NFL Draft to draft former Ohio State quarterback Justin Fields, but he may have to wait a bit before he sees. Any on-field action, the Bears who signed veteran signal caller Andy Dalton in free agency and Chicago Brass has maintained that he will be the one leading the Bears offense onto the field week one. Quote, sound bites usually hold a little weight compared to the attention they are given in May and June, but the Bears not holding a quarterback in competition is something that they have been saying since handing their draft card over to Justin Fields. It's in fact, during the appearance of on the Chris Collinsworth podcast featuring Richard Sherman Bears, head coach Matt Nagy said it isn't a scenario where Justin Fields will be starting over Dalton for the season opener. Bearing injury, of course. Quote, no, said Nagy. I mean, Andy is our starter again. I can't predict anything. You know how it goes. There are so many things that can happen between today and week and that week one. But Andy is our starter and Justin Fields our number two. We're going to stick with that game plan, um, stick to that plan, and you you always hope that nothing happens to, to Andy as far as injuries or anything like that. And that's why you can't say 100% Andy. Quote, Andy is where we Andy's where we want him to be. He's had a great OTAs, and, and, we're, uh, and we're just going to continue to build with that. All right. Um, you know, they went on. Dawn's, Dawn spent the last season with the Cowboys, ended up taking over as the starter when Dak Prescott went down with an ankle injury. Played 11 games, nine stars in 2020. Dawn completed 64.9% of his passes, 2,170 yards, 14 touchdowns, 8 interceptions, posting the 4 and 5 record fields. Has two time Big Ten Offensive Player of the Year in two seasons with the Buckeyes. He was the Heisman finalist in 2019, then led the Ohio State to the national championship this past season where they fell to Alabama. Alabama. While he has impressive teammates with his big arm and OTAs, it looked like. He will have to be patient for his chance. Matt Nagy give me one more chance. So that's cool, you know. Um, just looking up when we played them Joker. So let's see, man. Boy. Boy, so we won't play. They play the Rams week one. Maybe that's a huge reason why he don't want to ruin Justin Fields. The Rams got really good defense, man. But uh, we don't play them. Let me see if I can pull up the actual schedule. So we don't play them. Well, shit, we still ain't got weeks in here. Let me get a schedule that got weeks. Let's see. Sorry, y'all. Alrighty then. We don't play them until at least week four. And then we play them again. You know, we play division opponents twice. Week 12. So we had Chicago early on, so you ain't got to deal with the code. And then later on, week 14, we had the crib. So, um... And if we, as we know, 90, 97 won a ticket that took him back over as the uh, as the radio uh, channel for the home in Detroit. Sorry, I'm a little hot. I can't put air conditioning in the basement. That's how they want those little, you know, the ones you can move, the portable ones. But, uh, but yeah, like I said before, we would love to see Andy Dalton. Okay, we would love to see Andy. We would love to see old um, a redhead. Um, I want to see Justin Fields, you know. Justin Fields may... Um, he presents a dual threat, okay? You know, especially breaking in a new defense. Of course, you want a one-dimensional quarterback. Andy Dalton, 33 years old. You know, you want somebody that you don't have to worry about running. Um, Trubisky killed us with improv and running. And um, his overall record is 74 and 66, which ain't all bad. But um, he been in the league, what? He been in the league 10 seasons. This would be his 11th season. And, um, you know, you look at his stats. His best year probably was 2013, 33 touchdowns. We had 20 interceptions that year. Jesus. His best year probably was 
15, 20, 25 touchdowns, 7, seven INTs, man. But Andy Dalton, he ain't that guy, bro. Let's look up the Bears, uh, depth chart, the Bears roster. Look at their roster, man, because one, their defense is starting to, uh, excuse me, their defense ain't as, ain't as what it was. You know, when the King Spence wasn't the same last year coming off injury, it just wasn't the same. You look at their Dar Dar Darrell Mooney, Darnell Mooney's going to be a big-time player. But can uh, Andy Dalton get him the, field, the ball downfield? But they back, they back, their defensive backfield is trash. Uh, they got rid of uh, Fuller. They still got Eddie Jackson, though. He, he definitely one of the best, if not the best safety in the league. They got Eddie Goldman still, but it's just a defense to me that back in is whack. Khalil Mack, he ain't playing as well because they don't have the surrounding crafts to help him. So we can slide and block him. They got our former team. They got the, for, our, the former Bear, former Lion, uh, Christian Jones, um, uh, Robert Quinn. He got injured last year, but you ain't worried about him. Um, he had one good year at the Cowboys. They signed him as well. But to me, man, roster for roster, man, other than them having depth at the quarterback position, and they getting Tyreek Tyree Cohen back, and they found they finally gave the ball to uh, David Montgomery. You know, I don't fear them. They they can never use their weapons well. But you know, I look forward to uh, I look, I look forward to um, uh, beating them. I do. I look forward to beating them, and they're not that good. You know, when Aaron Rodgers not coming back. Sorry, got a little got a little uh, noise. My girl about to cook, but um. But, yeah, man, I just don't look at them as no threat. Now, if Justin Fields getting in there, maybe I get a little nervous him being a dual threat knowing that what Trubisky did to us in the past. Cool. But as far as, you know, just moving forward with him, I, I just really don't fear Andy Dalton. Now, he might tear us up, but Andy Dalton, he doesn't have that dual threat ability, okay? He don't, man. But Justin Fields, big arm. I think he got a little long motion in the arm, but that's the biggest. Yeah, but, uh, but other than that, man, it's just it's to the point where – uh. Hold on, I messed up. But, you know, it's to the point where I don't fear him. And I think with Rod if Rodgers don't come back, the division is uh, excuse me, the division is wide open, man. And if the division wide open, anything is possible. So the Lions could win a division, especially if Jared Goff step up and play his part. If he step up play his part, it should get real interesting. But other than that, man, we'll see what happens. But right now, they're not committing to Andy Dalton. They're not they committing to Andy Dalton, not Justin Fields. So you got Detroit Lions South Playlist. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all our social media links there. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Best way to donate, share, share the video. This cash app is in the description. Appreciate the love support. Peace. All right, all my Detroit Piston fans and all my Detroit fans, all my Motor City Sports Talk fans, make sure you guys go check out Piston Mike. We got him over 100 followers. So make sure you check him out. Everything Pistons, man. He going to hold it down and do his thing just strictly on the Pistons thing. You know, I got the lines of Pistons. But, man, we always trying to help people get their channel up. Let's get him to 200 next, 300 next, 400 next, 500 next. And let's get him all the way to a rack so he can start making that bag. Appreciate you guys. Make sure you go over to Piston Mike as you see it on the screen. Let's get him to 200, then 300, then 400, then 500, and the whole shebang. Peace.